Well, good morning, everyone. What a great turnout we have here this morning. I see everyone congregating by the fans. Uh, smart, very smart. Um, my name is Mike Sutton, and I serve as the president and CEO for Habitat for Humanity, serving Pinellas, West Pasco, and Hernando counties. And on behalf of our organization, I'd like to take the time to thank you all for being with us today as we celebrate a, a, an amazing milestone, the completion of our 900th home I don't know if you know this, but um, one in every four, I'm sorry, one in every six families in Florida spend more than half of their income on housing. The housing crisis has left blue collar workers and their loved ones paying high rent for cramped, unsafe apartments and houses. Parents must choose between keeping food on the table, maintaining reliable transportation, or paying for their children's medicine. At Habitat for Humanity, our vision is a world where everyone has a decent place to live. Since 1985, our affiliate here in our community has partnered with the local families and individuals to break the cycle of poverty, empowering them to build and purchase their very own safe and affordable home. Nearly 40 years ago, 10 individuals gathered at Trinity Church of Christ in St. Petersburg for the very first meeting of the Habitat Board of Directors. At that time, we were called Pinellas Habitat for Humanity, an organization whose mission was God's people building together. Today, our mission remains the same. Through the hard work and dedication of hundreds of individuals who have served on our Habitat board over the last 39 years, we proudly stand here today to celebrate our 900th home. To open our dedication with a word of prayer, please welcome one of those original board members and a huge Habitat advocate, Mr. Norm Bungard. Thank you, Mike. Very, you got it. As you prepare for the invocation, I want to remind you that we're here to prove once again that God's in charge of everything. And with God, all things are possible. Okay, for the invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with gratitude today. Gratitude for knowledge, skills, time, and the measure of financial resources, all of which came together to create a home. A home that was built with time and energy of volunteers, including the new home owner and the staff. It required hard work, thrift, generosity, and neighborliness to make the vision of this house a reality. The new homeowner is one of 899 others who worked and learned together, sharing hours of toil in habitat harmony, the program that started in 1985. The intervening years saw thousands of volunteers, staff, and homeowners make a new life possible one house at a time. It is our pledge today to work with the community and together support the mission and leadership to reach new heights. The mission benefits everyone, homeowners, and the community as a whole. We each may hold different views theologically and politically, but we all agree that working together to generate happiness is keeping God's command to love our neighbors. Hard work, thrift, loyalties are homeowner values 
that fit the habitat mission. Each new homeowner is equipped to make a house a home, one filled with lo love. Homeowners inspire us to aim for higher goals. Amen. Thank you so much, Norm. All right, we invite you to be social with us today and make sure you visit our Power of Home Doors um, and share what home means to you. Please use the hashtag HabitatPWP900 when posting on social media. Stop by the Habitat table and drop your business card in for a chance to win a free team build day on a Habitat site. And also be sure to grab some mini donuts from Donut Envy uh, and coffee and lemonade from Murph's Coffee, sponsored by Dialed In Golf Solutions. It's an exciting time for Habitat for Humanity. In April, we were awarded the expansion of our service area into Hernando County. For the past five years, this affiliate has been recognized as one of the top three producing Habitat affiliates out of 1,100 affiliates nationwide. This year, this year, which ends for us uh, in just a few short days at the end of June, we've partnered with 81 families to build homes throughout Pinellas and Pasco counties. And next year, we will continue to increase this number as the need continues to rise. We are especially thrilled to be here in the heart of the Ridgecrest community, where Habitat has built more than 100 of our 900 homes. This street is known as Gooden Crossing. It is named for two of the earliest settlers of Largo, Chester and Corinne Gooden. In 1936, they moved to this area and purchased 10 acres for $800. They had a vision, and over the next 65 years, this couple would sell off and donate portions of their land to black families to build homes, churches, and businesses. The land we are on right now was simply known as the corner. You're going to hear more about these three lots right here uh, coming up from uh, the Gooden's grand, uh, oldest grandchild, Elizabeth El Helm Fraser. But just know that today is a special moment, not only for Habitat, but for the Gooden family. And so I'd like to ask all of you to join me in a round of applause in honoring Chester and Corinne Gooden for all they've done to make this area what it is today. We cannot do this work without amazing partners. Each home that is constructed or repaired by Habitat is done so with the love and support of many businesses, individuals, and municipalities. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a number of the individuals with us today, starting with our elected officials and city partners. If you're an elected official, please stand and be recognized as I call your name. Pinellas County Commissioner Charlie Justice. Pinellas County Commissioner Dave Eggers. Florida State Representative Kim Beerfield. City of Clearwater Mayor Bruce Rector. He brought his fan club with him. City of Clearwater Vice Mayor Dave Albritton. Uh, we have City of Seminole Councilor uh, Ray Bellevue. Thank you, Ray. City of Largo Commissioner Eric Gerard. Air Bluffs Vice Mayor Karen Raft Raftery. And Bel Air Bluffs Commissioner Susie Sofer. And our good friend, former Clearwater Mayor George Criticos. I apologize if I missed anyone. I can't really see everyone, but uh, if we missed any elected officials, uh, thank you so much for being with us and for your continued support. I do wanna take a quick moment and just mention our great friends at Pinellas County. Um, the work that we've done over the last eight years uh, in the greater Ridgecrest community to build over 100 of our homes couldn't have happened without that support. So we just wanna say thank you to our friends at Pinellas County. Uh, from the commission to Barry to Tom and everyone in between, thank you so much for that support. 
We have several of our current board members with us, led by our board chair, Heather Ford. If you're a Habitat board member with Habitat, please raise your hand so we can recognize you all. It's also exciting, we have several former board members with us, all, dating all the way back to Norm Bungard. If you're a former Habitat board member, please raise your hand so we can recognize you as well. We have several Habitat homeowners with us today that are wearing special blue t-shirts. If you're a proud owner of a Habitat home, please raise your hand. At Habitat, I am so fortunate to work alongside 70 individuals that call Habitat their work home. They work day in and day out to carry out the Habitat mission. Um, and they, uh, they, they're just a fabulous group of folks that continue to help us serve more families on a regular basis. If you're a Habitat staff member, please raise your hand so we can recognize you. All right. Now I'd like to introduce to you our 900th homeowner. Xavier Jones is a hardworking single dad to three, child, to, to three children. Xavier has worked for Pinellas County as a spray technician for the last six years. His family is very tight-knit. His family is very tight-knit and they enjoy spending time with one another. He applied to the Habitat program to build a better life for his kids. And he has been eager to break generational barriers by building and purchasing his own safe and affordable home. Xavier, we are so proud of you for all the hard work and the determination to get here today. We know your kids have been watching you all along the way and we know you're setting an amazing example for them. So everyone, please join me in welcoming the Jones family. Habitat is committed to advocating for the advancement of home ownership, which, which we believe allows families to break cycle, the cycle of generational poverty and, and create intergenerational wealth. With the cost of home continuing to rise, Habitat alone cannot sell, solve this problem. Through advocacy, we seek to partner with supporters, homeowners, and our elected officials to influence policy and promote affordable home ownership opportunities. We continue to foster strong partnerships with our elected officials at the lo local and state levels to help make family, to help more families re realize the dream of home ownership. At this time, I'd like to ask Savannah Sipsey from the office of U.S. Senator Marco Rubio to come up and say a few words. Is she here? Sean? She's coming? Okay. It's a long walk up, you know, there's a lot, a lot of people. No, 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 you're good. Good morning, everyone. I'm Savannah Sipsey. I'm Senator Rubio's regional director for this area. And it's a privilege to be here today with this wonderful family as they get this beautiful home. And on behalf of the Senator, we're so thankful for everything Habitat does and all of our community partners for families who are in need and need, uh, you know, affordable housing. It's such an issue right now. So thank you all for having me, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you, Savannah. Tell the senator we're coming. We're coming for money. <laughs> Figured now would be a good time to say that. <laughs> Here in Ridgecrest and, and uh, in the greater Ridgecrest community, Habitat continues to partner with Pinellas County, as I mentioned, to offer a hand up to deserving families. This couldn't have been possible without this amazing partnership with the county and our elected officials who understand the need for affordable home ownership opportunities. Please join me in welcoming Pinellas County Commissioner Charlie Justice and Assistant County Administrator Jill Silverboard to bring greetings on behalf of our county. Good morning, Jill Silverboard, County Administration. 
it's uh, with regrets that Mr. Burton couldn't be here this morning. He is a huge advocate uh, for not only this program, but we are so exceptionally proud because this is for uh, one of our county employee families. So really excited about that. Um, but these are Mr. Burton's words. I'm just, I'm just the reader. <laughs> Xavier, congratulations on your new dream home. Pinellas County employees join in celebrating you and this special moment for your family. I read, I read that you said you wanted this new home to break generational barriers and give your kids a better life than you had. With your hard work and partnership with Habitat for Humanity, you have achieved that dream. Buying a home is no easy achievement, but you did it, and now you have the stability and independence to build a better future for you and your family. A new home is a special place for memories to be made and dreams to come true. All Pinellas County employees join me in congratulating you and your family and are so very happy for you all. Good morning. I thought all those words were fine. I don't think you needed the disclaimer that they weren't your words. <laughs> Just kidding, Jill. I have an official proclamation uh, from the county that I'd like to read first, and then I have a few other words after that. Whereas, since 1985, Habitat for Humanity of Pinellas and West Pasco counties has provided affordable home ownership to the residents of Pinellas County, and whereas Habitat for Humanity is committed to building homes, hope, and community through their mission of providing affordable housing, whereas Pinellas County has been an outstanding contributor towards the efforts of Habitat for Humanity by working together to increase community awareness and by directly impacting the lives of individuals and families through decent and stable housing, and whereas only a limited number of Habitat affiliates throughout the country ever achieve such a feat. Be, therefore, be it proclaimed by the Pinellas County Board of County Commissioners our sincere congratulations and recognition on this historic milestone for Habitat for Humanity of Pinellas and West Pasco, building the 900th affordable home in our community. Congratulations to Habitat. I would like to bring you greetings on behalf of our entire commission, our, our chair, Kathleen Peters, and vice chair, Brian Scott, and Commissioner Eggers, who's here. And uh, before I forget, Commissioner Eggers and his team have put together a kit for you, a homeowner kit. It's got uh, some nice information on there, a toolkit. It does not have your first property tax bill, so. <laughs> You've heard a lot of the background information about Habitat and the incredible uh, work that they do, uh, and I don't want to read all over that. But I just want to salute everyone that's part of this program. I look here and, and I think about it wasn't that long ago that we had folks in our county, our community, who said this area wasn't worth investing in. This is a lost cause. And you stand here today and you look at these beautiful homes, you look at this beautiful community, you look at nothing, nothing but opportunity here. And Mike mentioned that 100 of the homes, 100 of the 900 homes have been built here. And that's in direct partnership with Pinellas County. We owned a lot of land, a lot of vacant land for so many years, and finally the administration and the commission said, we don't want to own this land anymore. We need to get it back to the community, back on the tax rolls, back doing something good for Pinellas families. So I remember the first, when I was uh, first elected to the county commission, I think we were on home 360, Mike. That was one of the first homes that I saw you at, and now we're at 900. 620 homes under Mike Sutton and his leadership and his team, which is incredible. <laughs> So again, on behalf of the Pinellas County Commission, I want to salute the sponsors that made this possible. I want to salute all the incredible employees of Habitat. I want to thank all the Pinellas County employees that contributed to this. Uh, and as you heard, Xavier and his family are going to do uh, great things here and be a great part of the community. And I was thinking about 900 is not like a number that you hear a lot. You know, you hear 500, 1,000, 10,000. 900 doesn't always live down in history. I think we changed that here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Commissioner Justice. I <clears throat> uh, want to introduce a, a special guest here with us today uh, from St. Petersburg College, uh, Teresa McFarlane, and she is here to uh, present a surprise to Xavier. So, Teresa, come on up.
Once again, Teresa McFarlane. <laughs> Well, today I'm here from St. Petersburg College. When we were called, we were asked if we could be a part of the celebration. And our president, Dr. Tanja Williams, she said, yes, we will be a part of the celebration. And in a way that we feel is very important, in the way what we want to do is give back education. Education is very important to everyone. Our children, our parents, and family members. So with that said, what St. Petersburg College would like to do today is award a $1,500 scholarship to Xavier Jones today. Thank you. We're, we're looking for your kids to come to St. Peter's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. All right, Xavier. Looks like you got some continuing education to do. <clears throat> Which means, Barry, in the county, once you get a new certificate or something, you're going to get a promotion, more money. See, I'm, I'm, I'm working it for you over here. <laughs> in addition to our state and local representatives and municipalities in which we build, Partnerships with local individuals and businesses are integral to making an impact in our community. We had over 1,000 of these supporters make a $900 donation in honor of this milestone. If you could take a look uh, at your programs and the fans that are floating around the crowd, as well as the sponsor sign in the yard, you'll see the names and listings of these 900th home sponsors who helped raise over $100,000 towards affordable home ownership. Please thank me in, uh, in thanking these... Uh, Generous partners. Ridgecrest is often called the greatest community in Pinellas County. This is thanks to the commitment of the Friends of Ridgecrest and the time they dedicate to this neighborhood. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Miss Wanda from the Friends of Ridgecrest. Joining Ms. Wanda is Habitat homeowner and executive director of the Ridgecrest YMCA, Tiffany Brown. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I come to welcome you and welcome this great family to the greatest, the greatest community in all of Pinellas County. We say welcome to each and every one of you. On the behalf of the Friends of Rich Christ, to Azalea and your family, we welcome you to a community that's loving, that's compassion, that's giving, that's helpful, that is help, uh, wrap their arms around you and show you all the love and concern and help that you need. In the greatest, I mean the greatest, you got that? the greatest community in Pinellas County. So we welcome you. So on behalf of Friends of Rich Christ and the people of this great community, you are a family now. You are home now. So we welcome you to the greatest community in Pinellas County. Here's a little token from the Friends of Rich Christ. We hope you and your family be able to use it to the greatest. We love you. And Miss Tiffany Brown from the greatest, I mean the greatest YMCA, in the county, a panel of time would like to help and present you something. A free membership for your family for a month. Okay, thank yes. You. And a free membership to all these three families that moved in the greatest Ridge Crest community to be a family member of Greater Ridge Crest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Miss Wanda. <laughs> Y'all didn't know you were going to church today. <laughs> All right, now I'd like to introduce a special partner who made this house become a reality. 
Thanks to Solar Bear uh, for donating our roof as well as the solar paneling on this house. Uh, Xavier will see an immense savings on his electric bill. So I'd like to invite Blake up from Solar Bear to say a few words. Hey everybody, thank you. Uh, my name is Blake Ambrester, I'm the owner of Solar Bear. Uh, just want to say thank you to everybody for being here. I think there's a saying that goes, those who sweat together shine together, so we're all shining today. Um, thank you to the donors, to the volunteers, uh, to the contractors. Uh, thank you to Habitat for Humanity for leading the charge on affordable housing and living out their mission of seeking to put God's love into action. And uh, most of all, I just want to say congratulations to the Jones family. I know how hard they worked. Over 36 different courses on home ownership, over 450 hours of sweat equity he put into building this home. And uh, it reminds me of my favorite Bible verse, Galatians 6, 9. Let us not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And Mr. Jones, you are reaping your harvest. Keep putting God first, and you're going to go very far. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. A standard at each of the 900 home dedications that Habitat has completed has been the presentation of the Bible and a ceremonial hammer that is uh, provided by Banning Lumber. Here to present these gifts are two very special Habitat family members. They are Habitat homeowners here in the greater Ridgecrest community, and they are also Habitat staff members, William Washington and Kevin Dorsey. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's funny because I was actually up at 1 a.m. thinking about what I would say just in case I was put on the spot today for this. Um, as he said, we're both homeowner candidates. Um, I live right down the street on Henry Court. Um, three years ago in March, I got my house. Um, we were both standing right on this porch just the same way that Xavier is today. Um, me and Xavier share many of the same similarities. We were both single fathers that got a house through Habitat for Humanity. Um, trying to live that better dream for our kids and provide more for them. Uh, there have been plenty of days that I have come out. Uh, me and Danielle were in charge of his house, um, so it's an honor for me to be able to do this, but many days I came after work or I would drive past on my days off and I would see him out here. Uh, he'd be out here watering his yard. He'd come out here just to see the different things that we did when he couldn't come out on his own. He'd come by and, hey, when can I come back out? When are we going to be there? So this hammer is to symbolize all of that hard work all of that dedication that you did to be here today for your family, for yourself, to be, have that generational wealth that otherwise is, was out of reach for us. Yeah. So again, congratulations and welcome to your new home. Yeah, thank you. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? Yeah. All right, congratulations. I was the individual that actually did the pre-application for Xavier. Um, he was... Yes, and uh, my brother, he actually worked for the county, and he said, hey, I got somebody that I think will qualify for the program, and it was such a pleasure to be able to tell you that you qualified. Another man, a single father, you don't often see it, right? So it's, it's such a pleasure. So today I'll be presenting you the Bible, that rock, that sword, that foundation, uh, which you should read each and every day. Uh, one of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, and you are a proven fact of that today. So always, the basic instructions before leaving earth. So these are signed with well wishes for many of the people here. Congratulations, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Kevin. Both these guys have been phenomenal staff members at Habitat. Um, and we hired both of them at the closing table after they completed the program. Uh, so great guys that continue to give back. We, we appreciate that. I'd like to also recognize several partners who have supported the home ownership journey of Xavier and his family. Um, as mentioned earlier, over 100 organizations and individuals supported this home build with a $900 donation. 
the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber. Uh, Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce's Kids Pedal Power Program provides bikes to all Habitat children. And you can see the kids got brand new bikes right here. Our friends at Feeding Tampa Bay continue to provide homeowners with a hand up through stocking cupboards and freezers as families move into their homes. And Xavier will see that inside. We want to thank our friends at DiTech for installing surge protection on all of our Habitat homes. GFWC North Pinellas Women's Club has been a life, lo, ha, has been a longtime Habitat partner, and they provide books and a few other surprises for the kids inside. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Thank you all so much for being with us today. I'm actually uh, as as soon as I'm done with this list, I'm going to bring up uh, Corporal Will uh, Lawson, uh, who is going to provide the family with a basket. Uh, as they move into their new home. Uh, HCA Florida has provided a first aid kit, and the Largo Cracker Quilters has provided a homemade table runner. So we just want to say thank you to all these supporters for their continued support of Habitat. <laughs> Will, you want to come on up? Is the basket inside? Well, I'll let him come up and say a few words. Uh, Will has been, uh, when we first started doing work here about eight years ago, he was one of the first folks that I, I sat down and met with and said, hey, how do we make this work? How do we get together and really uh, uh, help the Ridgecrest community and lift everyone up? Um, and he's been a partner of ours uh, over the last eight years to make that happen. He's got his whole team out here today. Uh, and we just can't thank you enough, Will, for everything you continue to do for, for this community. So thank you. Good afternoon. So on behalf of all the men and women of Pinellas County Sheriff's Office and our great uh, Sheriff Bob Gartori, I want to say thank you for coming and celebrating. Thank you for choosing the greatest community of their all, Ridgecrest. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't leave a Bible verse since we're at church anyway, that uh, Lamentations tell us that we're born with brand new mercies every day. So we are here to help you. I'm going to give you my business card. I, am, I live in this community. I'm a part of this community. Now I consider you family. I keep Will's business card in my cup holder in case any of his friends pull me over. Just so you know. Little hint. <laughs> or, um, oh, I also want to mention uh, just a quick thank you to our friends at Achieve a Credit Union. You're going to see when you get inside, you got a brand new massive grill and everything that goes with it. So I expect an invite. Earlier, earlier I gave you a, a small bit of history of Gooden Crossing. This land means so much to Habitat uh, because it means a lot to the people who made these three homes a reality. To commemorate the Gooden family, you may have noticed that each one of these driveways has a small bronze plaque that reads, this home was built in honor and in memory of the Gooden family. It's our hope that their legacy will continue on for many years to come. At this time, I'd like to call on the Gooden's eldest grandchild, Elizabeth Helm Frazier, and any members of her family to come up to join us. Elizabeth's gonna expand on the history of this area and the legacy of her incredible grandparents. And then she's gonna pass over those keys to Xavier and his children. So, so Elizabeth, Bruce, come on up. Thank you, Mike, and good morning. good morning. All right, okay, let me start over. So I'm the oldest of five, and I'm a retired master sergeant. Amen. And I know there's at least one Marine out here. So when I say good morning, I need to hear you. So let me do that again, good morning. When I say we are, you say Ridgecrest. When I say we are, you say Ridgecrest. Ready? We are. Ridgecrest. We are. Ridgecrest. We are. Ridgecrest. We are Ridgecrest. Thank you, Mike, for that. I want to acknowledge standing to my left, the youngest of the Gooden's grandchildren and also the favorite, <laughs> Bruce Ricardo Oglesby, Jr., or senior, sorry about that, bro. We have uh, his stepmother here, Miss Joan Sands, a friend of hers, Miss Green, 
and I have several cousins here, Daisy Build, Geneva Water, Odessa Green, and Wanda McCarthy. Thank you for being here today. My name is Elizabeth Ann Helm Frazier, and I give honor to a God who is truly great all of the time, and to my country, the United States of America, and to the U.S. Army, where I served 25 years, 10 months, and 26 days. I also honor the sister services, the Marines, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and Space Force. Thank you for your service. I give honor today to the people of Ridgecrest, whose shoulders we stood on and learned firsthand about community and community service. I am the daughter of the late Johnny Wilhelm Sr. and the late Dolores Evelyn Goodenhelm, and we are the sister and brother of the late Corporal Johnny Wilhelm Jr., 101st Airborne Division, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. In 1936, two people with $800 purchased 10 acres of what was an orange grove outside of Largo, Florida. In 1944, they donated some of that land to St. Mary Missionary Baptist Church. That church right there. So when we say it's our church, we actually mean it. In 1949, they built a business that would be known as The Corner. It had a cafe, beauty shop, barber shop, ice cream parlor, room for rent, a grocery store, and the residence was upstairs. As people moved to the area, they sold land to them to build a home and raise a family. Those two people were the late Chester and Corrine Gooden, and I am their oldest firstborn grandchild. For me, Johnny, Leslie, Patrick, and Bruce, the corner was our foundation. It was our place where we went to celebrate birthdays, holidays, and had great, great Sunday dinners. The grocery store was where I learned to count and learned about savings accounts. At one point, Johnny Leslie and I had a savings account at Bank of Indian Rocks. My grandmother, Corrine, would show us how to fill out a deposit slip for $5, and then take it to the bank counter to be deposited into our accounts. The corner was a part of Ridgecrest and Chester and Corrine had that vision. We are connected on both sides of Ridgecrest. My dad's parents, the late Lige and Trudy Bellhelm, lived right down the street. And my uncles, great uncles, the late Dan Henry and Lord Henry. Uncle Dan was known as Papa Dan, also had the vision to purchase land that was then an orange grove and called it Dansville. He sold land to others as they moved to the area and many of them were family members and some still live in Dansville. They saw the vision of Ridgecrest as what we see today. This street, Baskin Drive, in 2001, I petitioned Pinellas County to rename the street. The request was approved on February 1st of 2003. We held the unveiling of Gooden Crossing right here at the corner. In the words of former Commissioner Calvin Harris, he said, as generations pass, we may no longer remember why a particular road was named after an individual or what they did to achieve that honor. It would be ashamed if the next generation failed to know why we renamed this road Gooden Crossing. After my grandparents died, the corner passed to my mother, and after her death, it passed to her children, me, Johnny, Leslie, Patrick, and Bruce. We lost Johnny 15 months after our mother, and it was a hard time for us. I will admit to all of you that it was me holding out on the property. I wanted to build three homes so that we could always have a place to come home to and our families could gather and celebrate. I was praying for my plan. And there's a saying that if you want to tell God a joke, just tell him your plan. 
This property meant so much more to me and I wanted to keep what my grandparents had worked so hard for. I spoke to family members and they said to me, I know you want to keep the property the corner, but this is what your grandparents did for people as they moved to the area. They were the habitat back then. So my prayer was answered no, so that Xavier and two other African American families wanting to be first time homeowners could raise their kids in a safe neighborhood, prayers could be answered yes. I thank you, Mike Sutton, for all you did, keeping us updated and understanding what this property meant to me and carrying on Chester and Corrine Gooden's legacy. And finally, I, Patrick, Leslie, Bruce, the great grands, the cousins, and the Ridgecrest community welcome three new families with our prayers and support. And Xavier, when someone asks you, where do you live? You say Largo, community of Ridgecrest, because we are Ridgecrest. And so these keys are presented to Xavier and his family. The 900th house just happened to be in Ridgecrest on the corner. How about that? May God bless you. I would be uh, robbed if I didn't say anything. I'm not really a talker, but I don't need it with my older sister. So <laughs> I just want to say thanks to Mike and thanks to uh, all of the Habitat. I know that my grandparents are smiling down and my mom is smiling down saying, D, look at them children. So thanks to all. Thanks to Xavier and congratulations to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Xavier Jones. Good morning, everybody. Um, first off, um, I'd like to thank God for allowing all of us to be here um, to gather for this very special occasion. Um, nothing is possible without him. Um, I'd like to uh, thank the entire Habitat staff for uh, all that you guys do to make dreams come true for so many families including mine. Um, I want um, to congratulate you guys on your 900 home bill. Um, that is a huge milestone, and I'm just thankful that me and my family are um, able to be a part of it. Um, you guys have changed 900 lives and also made 900 dreams come true. <sighs> and um, none of this happens without the support of the uh, volunteers and all the donated donors and stuff. Um, all of you are just important, and I thank you. Uh, thank you to Miss Sandra, Miss Deborah, for always encouraging me along the way. Uh, thank you for Sean. Thank you, Sean, Xavier, uh, Brittany, uh, Danielle, and Will. I had a fun, a lot of fun working with you guys, and uh, you guys did a good job, with Danielle and Will. It looked great. Um, where was I? Um, I also would like to uh, thank the Gooden family for allowing my home to be built here. Um, once, I, once I heard the story of uh, Chester and Corrine, it, uh, it made this more gratifying, and I feel like I was meant to be here. And um, I want to uh, thank my children. Y'all were, were here with me uh, every step of the way. And uh, I love y'all so much. And, I, and I'm glad during these uh, past 16 months, um, y'all were able to see what it means to make sacrifices, uh, what it means to be disciplined, and what it means to work hard for uh, whatever you want out of life. And um, I know y'all will that'll forever stick with y'all, with the three of you. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank my family and friends um, and everyone else here for all your support. Um, for being here today. Um, I'm so happy that my mom and, and my grandmother and my family are, are alive and well to be here to see this moment. 
And um, thank you to my coworkers that are here. Um, you guys are amazing. And um, if I could say one thing about myself, um, it ain't it ain't how you start, but it's how you finish. You know. And I'm um. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to start our new journey, our new journey, and um, I'm just so proud. I'm proud of myself. Um, I took a lot of hard work to get here, and I'm, I'm just proud. I, I appreciate y'all for coming. I thank you. Good job, man. All right. Well, Xavier, you've worked so hard. Um, you are surrounded with so much love and support here today. We're so proud of you. Yes, um, you, as you mentioned, your kids, right? You have set an amazing example for them. Um, and I remember that day you came into the office and we yep. told you were accepted in the program. Yep. Uh, and here we are. Congratulations and welcome home. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So what we're going to do now uh, is we're going to say a blessing over the house. And so you are welcome to, uh, if you'd like to, you can come up, find a place to lay your hand on the house. If you can't reach the house, feel free to, um, you know, place your hand on somebody's shoulder in front of you. Uh, we're going to say a blessing over the home, and then we're going to open that front door for the first time and let Xavier go on in with his kids. So um, leading us in a blessing is Stephen Sorrell from Shiloh. Okay. Stephen, how are you, man? Come on in. We believe in touching and agreeing. Lord God, we say thank you this morning. Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this home dedication, the 900th home dedication. God, we thank you for this family. We thank you for this home, this new construction. We dedicate it, Lord God, to you. Every room, every appliance, the structure, the land, that it be, Lord God, an example of your love, that it be an example of your goodness, and that if you did it before, you'll do it again. God, we just thank you for the fullness that will um, fill this house, that it be filled with your peace, your rest, your love. Lord Jesus, we ask that your angels would protect this home. We protect it from the evil of this dark world. But we know, Lord God, in you all things are possible. And so we say thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you have done and for what you are doing. We thank you for the Jones family now. Touch them all one by one and name by name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.